There's two primary reasons, uh, trust and value. So they've either lost trust in their, their advisor's ability to give them the advice that they need or to deliver the service that they expect. Uh, as well, then we're looking at value. So people are always evaluating, am I good at getting good value for the fees that I'm paying? And value means different things to different people, but if the value isn't there, it's time for a change. The top tip is, first of all, to take your time to look for the right advisor for you and to, to take some time evaluating you know, what it is that you're looking for and also to evaluate what the cost of making a move would be. People often underestimate what the costs are. There are transfer fees, there could be taxes involved, so really you know, verify what it is that's going to be your out-of-pockets because sometimes the advisor you're moving to will actually, actually cover some of those fees for you. There's two possible approaches. You can tell the advisor how they've let you down, what it is that they didn't deliver that you were expecting. And I think any advisor that's worth their salt is going to want to know when a client's leaving why they left so that they can avoid that kind of situation again. The other option is to tell them what you're going to. Uh, it could be a situation where you're consolidating your assets and you're consolidating your affairs with one advisor and they just aren't the one. Uh, it could be that they're going to a service that provides more holistic uh, planning and advice. Um, and that can often be an easier conversation to have.